and I'm here with another thrift haul for you. If you recall last thrift haul, I told you I was going to go check out the new Thrift Giant Irving location, which was originally Irving Thrift, and then they moved across the street, and now they are Thrift Giant Irving, I guess so you can be familiar with the name. So I checked out that store. I also checked out uh, the original Thrift Giant location on Harry Hyde's because they were both doing a 50% off sale, uh, one for the grand opening, and then I guess the other one for why not. So I checked out those two, and then I also checked out the Thrift Giant outlet, and then I went to one of my favorites, Thrift World of Dallas, because these are all kind of within the same 15 to 20 minute radius. And that is awesome because why not hit as many thrift stores up as possible because you just never know what you're going to find. So just so y'all know, if you don't remember or if you forgot, I do have a resale shop called The Fine Shop. I will put the link down below for you to check out. The link is thefineshop.storeenvy.com. So it's super easy, but if not, it'll be down below later on for you to check out. I will let you know which pieces are going to be up for sale or which pieces I'm going to be selfish and keep for myself. Eh. Unfortunately, it's too difficult for me to let go of some of the... Just I just find such great pieces and I can't. Ugh. Last thrift haul, I was kind of complaining that I never get to find shoes for myself. But when I went to Thrift Giant Irving, I found the most amazing pair of boots. Okay, so I saw these. They were just kind of hanging up. Well, they were on like racks above the clothing. And I saw these boots and I was like, man, those boots look great. I can't believe nobody had picked them up. And then when I grabbed them, I looked at them. I was like, hmm, these look kind of like, you know when you can tell a pair of shoes fit you, especially if you go thrifting and you're just super excited, you grab them. Yeah, these were kind of like that. But I was like, no, these are really great. Like they're heavy and the quality of the boots are just amazing. I thought that these were just going to be just a great pair of boots that I could sell online but then I tried them on and I was like oh my goodness these fit so I wanted to look online and kind of do a little research and I found these boots uh they're called Russell and Bromley so these retail at I don't know like 200 over 200 US dollars and I found this exact pair of boots on eBay selling for 129 dollars and I I'm trying not to tell everybody my secret and how much I pay for everything but I am cheap, but I found these. They were $4.99 originally, half off $2.50. Yes, a pair of boots that cost over $200. I bought them for $2.50, and now these are part of my personal collection. And these are probably the most expensive shoes that I own. And I only spent $2.50, so ah, feels good not to spend a ton of money in one spot. I'm the kind of person where, like, if you gave me $200, I'm going to have a new wardrobe. So yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive in and check out and let you know whichever ones I'm going to be selling. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a dress, but it's, or I'm sorry, I thought it was a romper. Just because it looks like a romper, right? But it's actually just kind of a long tank, and then this would, of course, be sitting right on your waist. And I kind of like tops like this. This will actually be on the fine shop, and it is a size small, and the brand is Forever 21, so this is really adorable. I'm excited to kind of style this to show you what you could do with it, because I think that this could be a very versatile piece. Another thing that I'm going to put on the fine shop, and I'm going to add a, a whole bunch more, just because it's summer. If you're like me and you don't like to shave your legs, uh perfect solution for that other than pants because pants are just way too hot especially the texas heat and we're there we're in it we're in the heat now and i'm already sick of it wearing maxi skirts or even middies will help you not have to worry about your unshaved legs and still look adorable or cute or sexy or whatever look you're trying to go for i love 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 this skirt now i i don't know what it is but i guess like the vintage express brand uh, they always have such great 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 skirts anytime i find a great skirt it's from express and uh, this one is no exception. So this is a size small. This will be on, on the fine shop whenever I put it online. And it's just this really adorable maxi. But it has um, front buttons. And then the buttons don't go all the way to the bottom. So you can kind of show a little leg. Which I think is awesome. I don't know. That's, kind, that's sexy to me. Like slits and whatnot. Or just like a little peekaboo. I like that kind of look. This is a size small. And normally I would keep this for myself. But I have plenty of maxi skirts so this will be up for y'all if you want to check it out another shirt that i found now this is a really great find uh it's a bit betsy johnson top of course floral is in so this is just a nice print of red roses 
on a black background. If you are like me, anything with like a black background you love and then it gives you an excuse to add color into your wardrobe. So this is exciting and this will be on the fine shop as well. A lot of this stuff is actually for you and I just realized I'd go on through it but I guess maybe I just have it separated into what's mine and what's yours. This is summertime tank tops are in why not this right here is an imperial tank top it's a size medium i believe it's a size medium and uh so on the front it just has a little logo and then on the back it has a bigger logo and this will be available for y'all if you want to go ahead and go grab it i'm really into mexican beer and if this was tecate or modelo i would not be selling it it's kind of like a lime green uh color tank so perfect for summer Mexican beer is awesome. Or shall I say, cerveza. I could go for a cerveza today, which I might. And actually, just kind of a little intermission, let you know. I'm going to be working again with CMS Closet. And we're actually going to get together today and we're going to have something really wonderful for y'all. So I really hope that y'all kind of come back and check that out. It'll be up in the air, but it'll be my next video after this one. So I really hope y'all come back. Let's get back into the thrift haul. I only have a couple more pieces and we're going to try to get this nice and finished up for y'all so we don't take 20 minutes of your day. So this shirt I found and so far I'm going to keep it for myself. I haven't tried it on or anything, but I'm really into fluffy tops lately and I haven't had luck in finding one that actually fits me. So when I found this, I was really excited. So the great thing about Thrift Giant is that when you shop there, you see, you know, the folks that are working there, these store associates, always putting new clothing out throughout the day. So they'll come through with racks and then they're just constantly putting new stuff out. So some folks, they'll come in during the morning and then they'll come back at night, which I think is a great idea, but I, thrifting makes me tired. Thrifting makes me oh so tired. So I think the max that I've done is maybe four or maybe five thrift stores in one day. Um, maybe I'm just weak, but I get tired and I get low blood sugar. Maybe if I had a thrifting buddy to be like, you can do it, you can keep going. Once you, get, If you're like me and you can't get out of the house until four o'clock in the afternoon, there are very few hours that you can actually get as much thrifting in because I spend at least an hour to an hour and a half in each thrift store because I go through everything. Well, I go through at least 75% of the store because once I get through 75%, I kind of get sick of it and I'm just done. I got to go. Really want to find the good stuff. You have to take the time and you have to go through everything. So instead of you going through that terrible experience of getting tired and whatnot because you went shopping, I'll do it for you and you can check out the stuff at the fine shop. But of course, you already knew that, didn't you? You did. I know that this trend has kind of been there, done that, but I'm still obsessed with stripes. So anything striped, anything with that sheer, and anything that has a cactus or cacti on it, I'm all about. I don't know why. I can't explain to you why I like the things that I like. I mean, really, just what I'm drawn to. So when I saw this shirt, this lady was putting it on the racks and I knew that I had to grab it as soon as she put it down. So she, as soon as she put it down, I was kind of like hawking her around, just, you know, pretending to look through the clothing. And then she put it down and I grabbed it. It's a size medium. It's the brand Kato. I think this will be a great addition to my wardrobe because it's a short sleeve button up and I just think that these are very versatile. This is just a really easy look to throw on. Those were all the items that I found at Irving Thrift, or I'm sorry, Thrift Giant Irving. I went to go to the other Thrift Giant on Harry Hines, but once I got there, it was picked through. I mean, I thought about buying a couple houseware items, but I just, there was still a line, and when I went through the racks, I just couldn't find anything that I really liked, and that was upsetting because I usually at least find one piece somewhere. So that didn't work out, but I did check out Thrift Giant outlet if you're not familiar with how the outlet works everything is um it's i think it starts off with like 1.99 and then every day it goes down 25 cents so that when i went everything was a dollar 25 i was really excited to find this piece spaghetti strap crisscross maxi dress from the gap it's a size extra small and i can never find dresses like this especially and if i do even if i find a maxi dress like i just lately have been wanting just one you know a simple black maxi dress that wasn't too long for me i mean i'm only five foot so if i go to forever 21 those clothes are not made for five people who are five foot they're made for people who are like five seven and up 
so short girl problems but i found this and this goes i think it's like ankle length and uh, i'm really excited to wear it i already <laughs> i already tried it on and have like an idea for this so i'm excited to throw that out there i only have two more pieces for y'all so this is exciting i w i've always been jealous of people who find like simpsons merchandise at thrift stores because i've never had that luck and then so when i went to uh thrift world of dallas i found this and it just says rude dude and it's old boy bart s sitting on a sitting on this trusty skateboard so this is perfect and i'm glad i found it and th i'm glad that it's actually a white shirt because i have too many black t-shirts so the last top that i found is going to be for y'all i'm going to put it on the fine shop it's just this crop top cosimo mexico shirt well if you like your crop tops oversized but see for me it would probably just be a little bit bigger and i don't have the chest to kind of like move everything about or kind of you know you know what i mean like look at this this is this is what i'm working with this is super cute i really love the colors and it will be available to you and i'm you know what we finished a thrift haul can you believe it now i hope this all came out great for y'all because i'm trying out a new different way of filming and i'm actually using my dslr but uh i want to thank you so much for coming to my page and watching my videos and if you must and please do subscribe up top i'm gonna have some more videos coming out in the near future for y'all and if you have any suggestions or anything let me know if you want to talk about something or get any feedback let me know like i'm here to talk to y'all and any ideas that y'all give me i greatly appreciate so yeah subscribe uh i'll put links down below for my blog for the shop and any other information that i feel like sharing with y'all so thanks very much i'll see y'all on the flip side see you in the future bye